Hi there, my name is Stanley Steen from Team Devereux and in this video you will learn how you can earn some cash on Ad Combo using Ad Cash. So let's dive in. This video is brought to you by Deberu.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform. All right, here we are at the Deberu Tracker dashboard. And in this video, you will learn how you can make money on Ad Combo by promoting their products on native ads using Ad Cash. All right, so we have a lot to discuss. So let's dive uh, straight in. And before we're gonna prepare our tracker for today's campaign, first let me show you the offer that we are going to promote today. Uh, so like I said, it's gonna be an ad combo offer and you may have seen it on some other affiliate networks as well because it's quite a famous offer and it's also available in multiple geos on ad combo. So it is the Keto Guru offer and today we're gonna to focus on Italy as the geo, but like I said, there are multiple geos available for this offer. All right, and as usual, Ad Combo has provided us with quite some offer pages and landing pages. Uh, one little side note, when Ad Combo talks about landings, it's actually the offer page, and when they talk about pre-landings, it is the landing page, okay? So there's a good one to keep in mind. So let's uh, start with the Deru Tracker and we're gonna prepare our tracker for the launch of this campaign. And we want to make sure, of course, that all the data of this campaign is captured inside of our affiliate tracker. Uh, hence why we have to set up the tracker first, okay? So first things first, we want to make sure that we have the affiliate network as well as the traffic source added in our tracker, okay? If you've already done this, if you have already Ad combo already as an affiliate network added to your tracker and you already have ad cash as a traffic source in your tracker then you can basically skip ahead a little bit uh, as you don't have to do this over and over again for each and every campaign you only have to add them once and then for all your future campaign using ad combo and slash or ad cash you don't have to add these anymore Okay, uh, however, if you don't have ad combo or ad cash in your, ca in your tracker just yet, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can add it, okay? So let's start with the affiliate network. We're gonna go with the, uh, to the affiliate networks tab, and then right here, click on create and click on affiliate network, and now you will get a list of all kinds of pre-set up affiliate networks, okay? And ad combo is one of them. So let's select ad combo and press next. And as you can see, everything is already pre-filled out. The parameters are already there. All you have to do is select your workspace and click on save. All right, I'm gonna close this one right now because I already have Ad Combo in there, but if you don't, uh, just click on save and you're good to go. And then we want to do the same thing with the traffic source, okay? So we want to add Ad Cash as a traffic source in our Debru tracker before we launch this campaign. So let's click on create and click on traffic source. And then once again, we will get a huge list of all kinds of pre-set up of, uh, traffic sources. And we're gonna search for Ad Cash. So it's right here. And then click on Next. And as you can see, once again, all the parameters are there. All you have to do is select your workspace and press Save, okay? There we go, awesome. So next up, we're going to worry about the offer pages and the landing pages, okay? Uh, so for all of your offer pages, you have to create a separate offer inside the Deru Tracker. And the same goes for your landing pages. No matter how many you want to split test, it's all possible. Uh, you just have to create uh, all the different offer pages separately, okay? Um, so right here, let's start with the offer we're going to create. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can split test two landing pages. Uh, but if you want to do three, four, five, etc., it's all the same. If you want to split test your offer pages, the process is also the same. But we are going to work with one offer page and two landing pages for this specific campaign. Uh, but if you want to split test your offer pages as well, the process is the same. Okay? Uh, so let's start with the, uh, with, the, with the offer page. First, we want to select our workspace and the affiliate network as well as the country tag. There we go. Now let's give this offer page a name. So let's call it Keto Guru at Combo Offer. 
There we go. And right here, we want to paste in our offer URL. So let's go to add combo to get our offer URL. Uh, what is important, since we want to split test the landing pages, we're going to host them ourselves, okay? Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on no pre-landing because I do not want the landing page added to the tracking URL because we're going to you know, host it ourselves. So uh, we can set up that part. Uh, so I do not want it in the tracking link. I want the tracking link just to be the offer page. So we're selecting no pre-lander. Then right here, we have a, a bunch of landings, what Ad Combo calls them, which are the offer pages. Uh, so we're gonna select one of them. Let's just check the first one. So the first one is a kind of a VSL. It is, no, it's not a VSL, I'm sorry. It's a 90 second video. Uh, so, um, not exactly the page I would want to use. So let's check on the next one. Okay, that's more like it. Or this one. All right, so let's say we want to use this one right here, okay? Uh, then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click on that specific offer page. And depending on the offer page that you choose, your link will change. Look at this highlighted part of the tracking link as I will select different offer pages. So look at this part. Uh, so let's select another one. It keeps changing depending on your offer, offer page. And if you select a landing page, it will be added to it. So we're gonna select no pre-landing like I said, and we're gonna work with this offer page. So then this is our offer URL. I'm gonna copy this offer URL and then go back to the Debra tracker and paste it in there. Now, before you close this tab, first we want to make sure that the parameter that is shown below is also added to the offer URL. You can do so by at the end of your offer URL, paste in a question mark and then copy this parameter that is shown below and paste it in there. That's all you have to do. Now we're all good. So let's press save. All right, perfect. So now our offer has been saved. Now we just need to create the landing pages, okay? So we are going to host our own landing pages using the Debra landing page builder. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at some of these offer pages. So this is a block style. This is also a block style, but two totally different block styles. So let's use those two, okay? So I'm gonna download these landing pages. That is one, and this is the second one. There we go. And then we're going to the Debaru landing page builder where we are going to upload a zip file because we just downloaded this, these two zip files. I'm gonna drag in the first one and I'm gonna call it Keto Guru Lander One. All right, let's press create. Cool. So now the editor opens up the template that we just have downloaded and we can change anything on this landing page that we want, whether it is the logo, uh, the headline, the text, the images, you can change whatever you want on this landing page. And once you're done editing the landing page, then please don't forget to change the most important part of the landing page, which is the destination URL. So the URL where the user will be redirected to after clicking on one of the links, okay? So first we're gonna go back to the Debra Tracker to grab our click URL. And you can do so by clicking on your name and go to the tracker settings. And then we're gonna go to the tab tracking URLs and copy this click URL right here. And we're gonna paste that into the destination URL. So we're gonna click on page info and right here you will find the destination URL field and we're just going to paste in our click URL and click on change links. The links have been updated, which means that now we can publish this page. All right. There we go. So our first landing page is now live. That looks great, that looks perfect. All right, so now let's, uh, let's publish the second landing page as well, and then we will add them to the Debaru tracker. So first we're gonna upload another zip file. This one uh, is the other one, of course, Keto Guru Lander 2. All right, create. 
Awesome, once again, we can make some changes if we want to. And then the most important part is pasting in the click URL as the destination URL, and then we can publish it once we're ready. And we have made all the changes to the landing page that we want. Uh, but like I said, most importantly, change the destination URL, uh, and then we can publish it. So there we go. Our second landing page is live as well. Perfect. So we have two landing pages that we are now hosting ourselves. Okay, uh, now we just have to add them inside the Devereux tracker. So let's go to the landers tab and we are going to create a new lander. All right, first we want to select the workspace. I'm using the initial, but it highly depends on your business structure uh, and how many people uh, are in the business and which workspace is assigned to you, etc. etc. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, talk to this, uh, talk about the workspace uh, to your uh, to your boss, or if you were the owner of your business, then you should be fine. Then we have the country tag. So we're promoting in Italy, there we go. And let's give this lander a name. So we're going to call it keto guru lander one at combo since this product is available at multiple affiliate networks, I like to have the affiliate network in there. All right, now let's paste in the first lander URL. So first, we need to copy it. There we go, copy and paste it in there. Awesome. Uh, so for the lender URL, you don't have to add any parameters. So we're all good. Let's save this. All right. Now we also want to add the second landing page. So we're going to create a new landing page. By the way, if you want to split test offer pages, it's exactly the same. Just create a new offer in your tracker for the new offer page. Okay, and then of course, we want to change this link. So we're going to copy, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to paste in the new one, the second one, and we're going to change this one to a two as well, and then press save. All right. So by now, you should have added the affiliate network, the traffic source, the offer page or multiple if you want to split test and the landing page or pages. Okay. Uh, which means that we now have all the elements available to start creating our campaign. And after we have created our campaign in the Debra Tracker, we'll move on to Ad Cache and create our campaign as well as our ads inside the Ad Cache platform. But first things first, we need to create the campaign in the Debra Tracker. So let's head over to the Campaigns tab and we're going to create a new campaign. I'm using the Campaign Simple option. Uh, workspace initial, the traffic source is going to be ad cash. Then the country tag is Italy. Let's give this campaign a name. Keto guru ad combo. All right. And the transition between ad and campaign funnel, I'm going to set it on a redirect transition and the campaign destination. I'm using a path right here. Uh, we're going to do landers and offers and the transition to offer. I want it to be a 302 redirect. And then right here, we can add our landers and our offers. So depending on how many landing pages and offer pages you want to split test, you can add them right here. All right. So just add as many as you want to test initially. I'm going to go with two landing pages and one offer page because that's what we prepared. Uh, so let's see keto guru. Lender one and also Keto Guru Lender two. There we go. And then add the offer page as well. All right, there we go. Let's press save. All right, so now we have created the campaign inside the Debra Tracker and our tracker is ready for the launch of this campaign and is ready to capture all the data for us. Uh, about this campaign. And we now have our campaign URL, which we are going to need a little bit later on when we create the campaign inside of AdCash. So I'm already going to copy this campaign URL. And then we can move over to AdCash and start creating our campaign. So we're going to create a campaign. There we go. I'm using the advanced campaign to show you all the different options that you have inside of AdCash. Uh, but you can also use the express campaign, which should give you all the options that you need to create a campaign. First, we want to give our campaign a name. So I like to start with the geo abbreviation, then the offer name, and then the affiliate network. There we go. 
Then we have the device type targeting. So let's do smartphones only at the start. Later on, I might want to add multiple if I see there's traction on this specific offer. And then we have the geo targeting. So we're going to promote it in Italy. There we go. Let's press next. All right. So right here we have the supply. So right here you can select which type of ads you want to run. What is the ad format you want to run with? We're going to go with native for this one. So I'm going to deselect everything else. I hope there's enough traffic available, but we'll see and deselect these. All right. So we now only have native ads left. Okay. Then we have the user interest. So you can target users based on their interest and you can find all the interests right here. And the same for the website category. So these are the categories that the websites you promote on um, should uh, clarify as, right? What kind of category? So a news website is it's a total different type of audience than a entertainment website, for example. Okay, so you can uh, select those right here. Then we have the device. So first we have the operating system and version. Uh, which is not something that I'm going to optimize on at the start of my campaign, because if I would do so, I would be making assumptions about these operating systems as well as the versions. And if there's one rule in affiliate marketing is do not make assumptions. We want to make decisions based on data and to make this decisions based on data, we first need to collect some data. So I'm going to start my campaign without using the targeting on operating systems and versions. But later on, when I do have the data and that data tells me that I should exclude or only include a couple of operating systems or versions, then I'll start doing that. But for now, we're going to leave it empty. Then we have the browser name and version. So what kind of browser is the user using to see your ads? And the same thing goes here. I want to generate data before I want to start optimizing on this level. Okay. Even though you might have done the same campaign in a different geo, it's going to be different in every country. All right. Because they have different uh, culture. They have a different way of looking at things. Maybe they're even other users on the browsers, right? Maybe the users of Internet Explorer in France are totally different from the users with Internet Explorer in Italy. OK, so I'm going to start out leaving this empty. But later on, during my deep optimization, when I have plenty of data, I will definitely analyze that data and take a look at this again. Then we have the browser language, which is something that I like to use. Uh, I like to use it in the way of target only and then if the Italian. All right, because obviously if we're going to promote in Italy, we want to our ads to be in Italian. Okay, so by using this browser language uh, targeting option, um, I can make sure that everybody who received my ads actually speak Italian. All right, because now they I'm sure that they have set their browser language in Italian. Uh, so I know for a fact that they can read my ads. All right, so we're going to apply this targeting rule. There we go. It has been added. So let's continue. Then we have the content. So uh, we can uh, select specific domains that we want to exclude or target on uh, URL keywords, zone lists, and traffic restrictions. Okay. Uh, so apart from the traffic reception uh, restrictions, these domain URL keywords and zone list are all basically kind of whitelist and or blacklist building. Okay. So you can use these tools to create a sort of whitelist or blacklist for your campaign. And the traffic restriction has to do with the adult traffic. So do you or do you not want to run on adult traffic websites? OK, uh, for this one, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do adult. So we're going to do uh, without adult. Then we have the connection. So first, the connection type. Uh, do we want to only run on on Wi-Fi, cable, DSL, uh, cellular or dial up uh, so we can exclude or target only. But once again, I need some data for this. And the same goes for the organizations and ISPs. Uh, so right here you will find all the carriers. I don't know any carriers in Italy, but uh, probably um, Vodafone would be one. There we go. Right. Vodafone Italia. 
All right, so you can target or exclude specific carriers right here. But once again, I do need quite some data before I'll start doing this. All right, let's press next. Cool, so now we are at the creatives level and first we wanna select the creative type. Since we have selected that we only want to run on native, obviously we want to create native ads, all right? Then right here we want to add our creative URL. So the creative URL is going to be our campaign URL that we copied a little bit earlier. So we're just gonna paste in that URL, all right? And next up is the creatives it's themselves. So first we have the image and the title and we can also use a brand. All right, let's start with the image. So the accepted minimum image size is 600 by 500. So let's actually use those dimensions. There we go. And I'm gonna open up Google Images to find some nice images, all right? Uh, so what do we get when we type in Keto Guru? Probably a lot of product pictures, which is not exactly what I want. Um, yeah, exactly, that's what I mean. Uh, so let's see, um, let's do weight loss Keto Guru results. Let's see what kind of pictures we get. And it all depends on the kind of angle that you take that you want to uh, approach this offer with, okay? Uh, so it's really gonna depend for, for everybody. And I think every affiliate can show their skills basically um, inside their creatives, all right? Let's see, not a lot of before or after pictures, um, not that that is a must for a diet weight loss uh, product, but it was kind of what I was expecting. Uh, this is actually quite a good picture. Uh, the tattoos, well, they are not matching, actually. Uh, so that's not great. Here we do have a, quite a lot of before and after pictures, which is good, which is great. So let's take a look. Okay, so when doing before and after pictures, you want to make sure that there is some recognition in the person, all right? We need to be able to recognize that this is the same person. Can we in this picture? No, even though her faces look quite alike, we cannot say 100% sure. So we need something like clothing or like background or like tattoos are great for that as well, to have that identifier of knowing for sure this is the same person who just had an insanely weight loss, right? Uh, so let's see. Let's see what else we have. Like this one, for example, doesn't work. Different background, different clothing, uh, no tattoos from which we can recognize her. This could be somebody totally else, right? Let's see. All right. Yeah, so finding the right pictures can be quite time consuming. So don't feel bad if you spend a couple of hours trying to find that perfect image, it will pay out, okay? Being impatient will not pay out. Looking for the exact creative you need will pay out. Now, this is a pretty good picture, even though we don't ha really have any points of recognition, uh, except from the glasses and her, and her hair, which is quite a identifier, uh, but I still like this picture. And it even says after keto. Let's use this image, all right? Like I said, uh, usually I would spend a little bit more time trying to find the perfect image. I would collect quite a lot of them uh, and then select the ones that I like the best to ensure that I pick the images that will work best for my campaign. And we're never gonna be able to crop this, I can tell you straight away. So these dimensions are too off. This is not gonna work, okay? Uh, so we need something else. Um, but like I said, don't feel bad if it takes you uh, quite some time as you want to make sure you pick the exact right images. Okay, uh, let's actually go back. Oh, this is a good one as well. Um, it's kind of a joke uh, because this is her wedding dress, right? We can clearly see it's the same wedding dress. So that's the identifier here, okay? Um, the only thing that um, is too bad in this image is that she has a tattoo here and it would have been great if we saw it here as well. 
But other than that, this would be a good identifier to say this dress, this dress, it's the same person, but she lost quite a lot of weight. Okay. And we're able to crop this, I think. Let's try to use this. Drag it in. All right. See, now that works. That works. I want to crop it it's slightly different, but we are able to crop this the right way. That's the most important part. Um, maybe a little bit smaller. Not too much. Somewhat like that. Yep, that works. All right, let's download this. Uh, wait, we can use these adjust buttons to make it uh, pop a little bit more. Uh, so I like to have the contrast quite high as well as the saturation, uh, which will get quite a lot of color in it. Look at the, these green trees behind her. They kind of pop a little bit more. Uh, her skin is popping a little bit more. I'm going to put the blur slightly in the minus. Uh, let's see if we have to do anything with the brightness. I would do it somewhat like this. Okay, there we go. Let's download this. And then we go back into Ad Cache to upload it right here. There we go. And we want to add a title as well. So we have 100 characters to do so. Uh, so let's say, um, oh yeah, first we have to crop them, of course. So inside of uh, Ad Cache, they give you the opportunity to crop all the images, uh, all the different styles and formats of images for different ads, okay? So it's actually quite nice um, that we have this option so that we can make sure that whatever kind of dimensions the placement uses, our ad will show up the way we want it to show up. Um, I'm gonna do it like this. This one is good, this one is good as well. All right, let's upload. Perfect, so now we can work on the headline. So let's say uh, breaking um, or no, let's, let's fuck the macros, okay? So let's just say a woman of 47. Uh, ooh, we're gonna make it juicy, all right? I'm gonna change uh, woman to mother. Mother of 47 lost, uh, let's say um, 77 pounds in just just three weeks using this miracle product okay so we can still do shocking all right there we go awesome then we can also set the brands so it depends a bit on the kind of angle you want to take you could do something like mother's health if that's your landing page uh, or whatever this says in italian um, or you can just give another brand to it or you can call it keto guru but it really depends on the flow that you take with your campaign okay since we're going to split test a different uh, landing pages i wouldn't necessarily go with the with the title of the brand on the landing page unless they're the same of course uh, but in this case we're just going to call it mother's health because it actually quite nicely fits in with the angle uh, that we took on the title and the image right we have somebody in their wedding dress we said in the title mother of 47 then we have the brand name mother's health and that also comes back on the landing page so that's quite a nice coherency in the flow that we have there okay so let's save this creative Obviously, you might want to do multiple creatives, multiple different images, multiple different headlines, mix and match them all up to see which combinations are those golden nuggets that will really, really take your campaign all the way to the moon, okay? Uh, so you want to add multiple, but the process is all the same. So for the sakes of this video, we're going to continue and press next, all right? So the next page is the budgeting right here. First, we have the weekly distribution. I'm gonna start with 24 seven to make sure that I generate data for each day of the week, as well as each hour of the day. But then later when I do have that data and I analyze that data, I might 
find specific hours on specific days that just do not convert, right? So then I can use this right here and uh, select my, um, my scheduling basically on which days I want to run and which not. But at the start, we're gonna start with 24 seven. Then we have the budget. Uh, so the total campaign budget. you can set a total campaign budget right here or you can leave it on unlimited. Uh, then the campaign scheduling. So you can set a start and end date for your campaign right here. Uh, not something that I personally use a lot, but it depends a bit on the affiliate um, who's promoting. And then we have the campaign status after val validation. So after ad cash has checked your ads and approved your ads, do you want to, to go active straight away? Or do you want to keep it paused and uh, keep it that way until you hit that launch button? Okay. Then we have the bits. So first the bit type, uh, the, the available options inside of ad cash are CPM, CPC and CPA target. Uh, so CPA target cost per action target, CPC cost per click and CPM cost per mail or cost per thousand impressions. Um, if you're just starting out with affiliate marketing or you just made the switch to native ads, uh, then I would recommend you to go with CPM. If you're more experienced with native ads and affiliate marketing, and you know what you're doing, you had a couple profitable campaigns before, uh, then you might want to move over to CPC or CPA target, but it is a totally different bidding strategy. So take care. And if you uh, do not have that much experience, just go with CPM. It's perfectly fine as well. You can still make a lot of money even with the CPM bid type. Okay. Uh, then we have the frequency capping. Um, I like to set it on limits to impressions every 24 hours. That's my personal preference, but this is going to differ per affiliate as well. And to be honest, it differs every now and then for me as well per campaign, but this is sort of a go-to for me. Uh, but you can set the limits higher or lower. Uh, you can also set the time frame higher or lower. You can do hours or days or even minutes. All right, uh, so you can customize this exactly the way that you want to. All right, and then you can say whether you want to apply it on the device or on the IP address, okay? If you do it on a device, that means that one user, in this case, can see my ads twice every 24 hours, but if they switch from mobile to desktop, right? If that was possible on this campaign, we're only doing smartphones, but if they move from smartphones to desktop, and we also have desktop in this campaign, uh, they can get those ads twice again on their desktop, even though they had them already on their mobile phone. And when you call, when you do it on IP address, these are all devices in the same IP address. So then he would only be able to see the ads twice on whatever device he's on, as long as he's using the same IP address. Okay. I'm going to apply it to device. All right. And right here, you can choose whether you want to set up three different bits for the different types of quality traffic that they have, or whether you want to use just one bit for the full country. Okay. Um, since in this case, there's not a whole lot of traffic available, I would go with one bit per country and the average is four cents. So I would go slightly below, um, for some specific situations, you might want to use the three bits per country, but it really depends on the amount of traffic there is available, the type of campaign, your budget, etc., etc. Okay. Uh, so for, in this case, I'm going to go with uh, one bit per country and I'm going to set my bit slightly below average just to start out with, just to see if there's traction or not. If I notice that I don't get any traffic and my daily budget is not spending at all, I'm going to up this bit. If that's not the case and I'm spending quite nicely and my daily budget is being spent, etc., uh, then my bid is good or I might even decrease it a bit. Uh, but that all depends on the data that we get early during the campaign. So let's save these changes. There we go. Then we have the cappings where you can set your daily budget as well as the daily impressions. Uh, I don't usually use the daily impressions cappings. Uh, as I don't really care how many daily impressions I get, um, but I do use the daily budget. Okay. So I'm going to set my daily budget on $300. I'm sorry, euros. Take care with that. It's euros. 
uh, and I want to spread my budget throughout the day, uh, meaning that I do not want to spend my daily budget as soon as a new day has started. No, because I want to generate data on all the different hours of the day because I have the opportunity to do the scheduling and optimize on specific hours and days. But then first I need to generate data on all those different hours of the day. So I'm going to spread my budget throughout the day. Let's save these cappings. There we go. Let's press next. And that will be our campaign overview. There we go. So right here, you can check whether everything is set up exactly the way that you want it. And if that is the case, all that there's left to do is click on this big green button that says create campaign. And we're going to do exactly that. All right, there we go. Campaign created successfully. Perfect. Now the ad cash team will basically take a look at our ads at our landing page at our offer page to see if it complies with their uh, compliance rules. If that is the case, then they will approve our ads and it will either go live immediately or it will stay paused or it will wait for your scheduled start date depending on your settings. Okay, and this validation time is very short on ad cash, which is quite nice. So you could even launch your campaign the same day you're creating it inside of ad cash. Uh, so they say it's it takes about 15 minutes during working hours. Uh, so it will go quite fast. Okay, so you now know how you can start making money on ad combo by using the native ads on ad cash. All right. If you like this video, if this video helped you with your setup and your campaigns, then leave a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button at the top of this page to stay up to date about any new videos coming out on the Devroot channel. So that's going to be it for this one, but I will just catch you next time. And until then, peace out. This video is brought to you by Debaru.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform.